to me about Austin and Allie season four. Oh <laughs> my gosh. I cried and I screamed and then I laughed at how ridiculous I was being in my hotel room. I couldn't believe it. Um, I am so thankful. We owe so much, first of all, obviously to Disney Channel for just believing in our show and the fans for watching it every week and every day and tweeting us and sending us these messages. We receive them every day and we talk about it constantly all the time on set. And to know that they still love the show after four years is absolutely amazing. And the fact that it's been almost four years blows my mind. How, where's the time gone? Can't even believe it. All right, talk to me, Austin and Allie, what's coming up? Uh, we got season four. We got announced yesterday that uh, season four got picked up, so we're really excited about that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what's happening right now. We have a new bully episode coming out next week. That should be crazy. Yeah. Who's the bully? I can't tell you. That's the whole secret. We need to know secrets about the bully, but... Uh, the bully has red hair. He's tall, really good looking. Like, man, he's like a, a lady killer. What's going to happen on season four? Do you know? Well, I mean, you know, we're so early still in season three. We haven't even hit some of the big juicy stuff for season three yet. So we still have a lot of that going on, which will be fun. But eventually we'll have, you know, lots of, I'm sure, lovely guest stars that mess with everybody's, you know, relationships and friendships and test everybody out. And it'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully some cool guest stars. Who would you want to guest star? Um, we were talking like someone big musical, like maybe like Elton John or like uh, Paul McCartney or like um, I would love like Jimmy Fallon or something because I'm, I'm in love with Jimmy Fallon. Pre-award show confidence routine that you have. I cry for like 19 minutes every day. That's what I do. I'm like, okay, just cry it out because I don't want to start crying when I hit the red carpet. So I'm like, all right, cry it out in the car on the way in. Don't want to be too emotional. No, no. But I actually got here like 6 a.m. So I've, I've like already slept here. So I feel like I've been here all day. Do you feel more confident when you're like acting, performing, or when you're just like totally off in yourself? Um, I'm pretty confident in like all this. I'm also I'm pretty confident and very awkward in both situations. So there's really no win for Caleb. What's your favorite part about getting your grown man on and getting dressed up for the red carpet? Uh, my favorite part is uh, when I walk on the red carpet and see the picture later and be like, wow, I didn't mess that up. I'm really I'm really surprised because I thought I would have messed that up. Really not. Um, feels like summer. Can you sing us one line from your favorite summer jam? Oh yeah, uh, I like girls that wear Abercrombie and bitch. I take him if I have one wish. Is there LFO? Oh, uh, oh my God! I'm obsessed with "Sing" by Ed Sheeran. Oh, 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 oh louder! Oh, 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 sing! I love that song. It's so good. Hey, you need to do that with him. Uh, please, Ed Sheeran, hi. I know you're watching this. We should do a duet together. I'm ready. So whenever you're ready, give me a call. Summer bikinis are one pieces for girls. Oh, uh, well, for me, I'm more of a one piece kind of guy. But on girls, I think two pieces. I don't like to show my belly button. Click right here to get more from the Radio Disney Music Awards.